Hit them with a car, yeah. 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 Ah, I see you, director. You out here increasing our production value. I appreciate it, man. First, the replays, all this malarkey. It's good stuff, man. We're great out here. But you guys know the deal. We are back. With the new crew and one of the most classical circuits in the world, Auto Drum or Night in the Sun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nah, that's your, that's your night. One's my, my international side. But anyway, the race is on the way, man. Don't mind me. So, man, I got pulled in the other field, but it's nice. I can't even get to the position, but the Kafaf that went on some contact. The American went off, and it looks like he's been reset because he, he disappeared off the leaderboard. Poor guy, man. He got himself a nice, good fourth position in unofficial qualifying season. But with all this stuff going on, it looks like Menane has got a good, good lead. A good lead. Is anyone going to be able to catch up? Because it's Doug Barry in second, and his unofficial teammate, James, oh my goodness, the action is going on everywhere. We're looking at the back for party. I wonder what happened there, man. Monza's chains are weird because you, you, you even break a bit too early for someone who, who, who's behind you. A whole bunch of crap is going to happen. And look at the lead Menane has. Doug Barrow's out here in second. And I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, his unofficial teammate James in another Valvoline Ford He's out there in third place. As we're now back on board with our party who is in sixth place chasing Mr. Boom Down. And the Jag and about here, Mr. Boonton out here doing the F1 Heritage Tour with a body sporting the Jag was classic livery, even though the car isn't really the classic the car that had this livery, but the livery was nice, man. That's all we gotta say. If you saw the Jag coming to F1 and you were like the livery wasn't nice, you're talking smack. And we got Mr. Boonton with the heritage of the Williams livery on the M6, which also looks lovely. Lovely to see, man. That's my childhood cap right there. I'm looking at my child and making me happy. It's FV almost loses it. This Lamborghini is trying to betray the heck out of FV. FV is the only guy in an Italian car at this Italian track. I wonder why there aren't any more Italian cars. You know why? Because they're all skittish. Meanwhile, there's battles going on all through the field. And this is the battle for ninth. And we got the guy, the AMS doggy, who got done dirty and she came through all the little continuing effect that happened. Being overtaken by Tiena Filo in that's ridiculously quick GTR. This GTR is demonic on this plate, man. Almost scary, man. You just see it waiting for you, waiting to finish the corners. That's all he's pretty much doing. Hey, man, I'm just gonna wait to finish this corner and then I'm going to just pass you. There's nothing you can do. As we're now looking at the battle for second place, that barrel is in a valve in Ford Mustang. James is in a valve in Ford GT. Now, Doug Barrow's racing for the American division, so Costa King's out here, Ford are like, hey man, we like your work, man, you can't just be out here racing with Costa, man, there's some factory money for you, come with us. Meanwhile, James is racing for Valvel in Scottish division, so these guys, no full-blown teammates, but they're teammates nonetheless, because Valvel is probably going to be happy they're getting all this brand exposure out here, as these guys look like they're fighting quite hard. You know, if you guys work together, you guys could probably catch me in a name. If the history between James and Doug Barrow serves as correct, these guys always fight hard. They, they can't work together. I, I am actually confused. How did Valve and Mr. Sun? I know these are two different divisions, <laughs> but you guys could have made it like on a separate race or something, because Valve and these guys are going to fight hammer and tongs. There is no hope of these guys working together at all. Forget about it. Meanwhile, tear now, Philos. I've been to seventh place now. That GTR is taking no prisoners. It is just going. He is on fire. I think he's on the fastest car on the track right now. As we're now on board with Mr. Boomtan, who is chasing Abati. These guys doing the F1 Heritage to Abati for the Jack. Mr. Boomtan for the Williams as he's making a move on the outside. Can he make it stick? He's going to be abusing Abati's trust. Nice move for Mr. Boomtan. But he was abusing the heck out of Abati's trust. And you saw him flash the hands to say, Hey man, I'm not trying to fight you too hard, man. I don't know what happened there. I wasn't actually trying to pass. Maybe that's what he said. But we'll never know. But we know that as a flash was an apology. Do you see these guys? We got a battle for second with James and Doug Barrow. Battle for third with our body and Mr. Boomtown. Our body gets back past Mr. Boomtown. But the one thing I can tell you right now is 
Based on the battle we've seen thus far, Mr. Boomtown and Abate are actually fighting in a decent way because they're not impeding each other. Whereas the battle between James and Doug Bell, it looks a bit personal. And I wouldn't be shocked if these guys caught up towards the end of the race, to be fair. As TNA fillers caught up to FV, this guy is on a rip. He's out of here, man. Look at him in that cheetah. He is flying. He did a 46 540. No one's even close over a second to the other fastest lap of the race thus far. Dude's on fire and this Lamborghini is still trying to be tired. You know if the Italian cars went that went too skittish, more people would use them, right? But we should be seeing more Lamborghinis and fries over here. As the battle for second continues, James is now into their place, so he's now trying to arrest that barrel. And this is gonna be a tough battle. You know why? You know why it would be even more harder for these guys to work together? They fought GT and the Mustang have similar straight line performance. Which makes it even tougher. Whereas in the back, you see Abate and Mr. Boomtown. The, the Jag has the legs on the M6. The M6 is, is, the, is quicker than the Jag in the corners. So it's easy for them to switch positions. But they look they're not, like they're not battling too hard at least on this occasion. Probably because James is that close. But in sixth place, TNR Filo is still flying. He did another 46. These guys are in trouble. This guy is going to catch up to all of them. But... We, we don't know is how many people he's going to get past and is he going to encounter someone who's going to try and give him a bit of a fight because so far no one's been able to do that and when I mean, just out here chilling the dude's controlling the race well it looks like these, these guys are still going at it Ford need to get on the phone right now because look at Ford need to call both divisions of Valve and say Valve in USA Valve in Scotland you guys need to work together out here brand exposure if you guys don't fight like this, you may have a chance of catching Mename and fighting for the lead. If you guys get first and second, then you can fight for the lead. But right now, you don't need to be fighting this hard, damn it. Mename is over here. He's gone. Look, look at him, man. Dude's having a nice, chilled out race. It's James as well back in front of Doug Barrow. These guys, man. These guys, man. You know what? I may have even made a mistake there because they're switching the lead so much, it's becoming silly. You can visibly see a party, Mr. Boomtown and Taylor catching up in the background as, as Doug Bell goes on the outside and like, is he going to make it stick? I don't think he can make it stick. No, you cannot do that on the outside, Doug Bell, man. That's a bit silly, sir. I can't believe that you thought that was actually going to work. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. Hush my mouth. He made it work on the outside. Nice move, that barrel. As we see Mr. Boomtown bump drafting a bot, these guys are actually working together. It's actually nice to see people working together on board with them as well, breaking. And as you can see, he's taking it easy because they've caught up to Doug Barrel and James because they're working together. But Tina Filo is not too far behind. So James and Doug Barrel are going to have visitors within the next lap if they continue this tomfoolery, man. Guys, you are team Valvoli. Valvoli, man. Keep that in mind. It might be two different divisions, but two different divisions of the same company as now. We're on board with TNR Filo. Who did a 146 one? Good gosh, damn it, guys. What in the, what in the broke? <laughs> You know, I, 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 I have nothing to say. I'm not even going to try and find something smart to say. These guys are in trouble because this dude is flying. It's one thing to try to keep him back, but if he's more than a second faster, you, you guys are going to struggle, man. I feel sorry for you guys. I'm happy I'm not in this race because I'll be freaking, <laughs> yeah, hey, man, I'll be very nervous and I'll probably make a mistake. Unforced errors, man. Unforced, unforced errors are part of life, man. But hey, man, at least nobody's unforced errors are as bad as Mr. Bluetooth's unforced errors, man. I had to throw that little jab in there because he makes so many unforced errors. It's where well. now, in the slipstream, TNR Philly, just look at how quick this thing is, man. Man, is this GTR should be illegal, man. Just you see how quick it is, guys. It's two by two into the parabolic. James on the outside, a party on the inside. Boomtown on the in inside tear up through just look at the situation as James slid on the outside and it looks like he hit a party. Mr. Boomtown almost hit the pit line. My goodness! James is James just ruined my childhood! James ruined my childhood, but I was definitely a nice time seeing the F1 heritage door as Mr. Boom 
lockdown breaks, like trying, trying to keep TNA behind him, man, because he knows it's gonna be a struggle. James out here messing up people's childhoods, man. A party and Mr. Boom that were working together. Now, man, and man is just out here chilling by himself in the first place. Dude's just, he's out here setting purpose. Man, and man gonna get a 46 too. And now, TNA Filo on the outside of Mr. Boom Town. Hush my mouth, why did I say outside? And he gets the move down into the second GK. Mr. Boom Town's the only other guy in the 46s. Will he be able to keep up with TNA? He's in the 46s, but he's 7 tenths slower than the best TNA's done. But battle is everywhere. If you're looking for the battle for ninth place, it's the Dutch Connection. Get connected. For free, it's the Dutch People Connection. Don't ask me why I'm singing, guys. I know I can't sing, but hey, these guys look like they're having a good time. AK and Lucky out here having a good time. Is we're now back on board with Mr. Boomtown, the sole remaining heritage car in the top five out here. After James ruined our childhood out here, he is trying to chase Tiana, but you see him overdriving. Mr. Boomtown, you don't need to do any of this, man. The pace TNR has is just a pace you can't match. Just slow down and settle for fourth position. I'll ask my advice to you, second. Otherwise, it will end in tears, man. As TNR takes the parabolica in a nice fashion, it looks like Mr. Boomtown went wide just as I was telling him to relax. What a silly guy, man. Silly guy. You see, that's what happens to you, Mr. Boomtown. You out here. The police gave you support. Lexus gave you support. Now you with the Heritage team out here. Things aren't going good for you, are they? I told you, you don't bite the hands that feel you. Let feed you, sorry. And now you're down in eighth place. It's your own boy with a bunch. And actually, James let up brought it through after their little incident. So good on you, James. That's the least you could have done after you doing that childhood. Then we're having a nice time seeing these two F1 livery cars fighting for the like a podium position at least. But hey, man, it's okay, man. It happens, James. We, we forgive you. I, 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 at least I forgive you. As man and I still maintaining the pace, doing 47s. Doug Barra, another guy doing 47s in second place. Tiena Filo out here. He did a 48 on the last lap, but you can understand after the kerfuffle that happened, it makes sense. But from what I hear, oh, oh what the heck? Why is why, why is Dutch Barrow slowed down? Why, why does it look so close? Director, let me know what happened. The director just let me know Dutch Barrow had a penalty, and our leader, Menane, also has a penalty, but Menane is not going to struggle too much. So Dutch Barrow actually, as it looked like he was a silly place to slow down, now, nah, best place to slow down is TNA. Filo overshoots the corner out here. Dutch Barrow's going to have some good slip to that GTR super quick. But the Mustang is just as quick in a straight line. Can Dutch Barrow get some slipstream and make a move into the final corner? He's going to be one heck of a last gasp move, one last attack to see if he can get past TNA Filo in that GTR. But at the front, you see Menane, he slows down, getting of his penalty even though he didn't need to. Menane gets an emphatic win, and it looks like TNA Filo's going to get second. Doug Barrow in third, that GTR was relentless. MS Doug gets a good recovery into fourth place. He finishes fourth, Dean Shishu in fifth, about to sixth, James seventh. Mr. Boomtown's going to finish eighth. But the battle for 10th, still going on. These, these guys take the parabolica one more time. The Dutch people connection with 9th and 10th, respectively, man. There were many more cars this time. It was very hard. Just, you know, whoa. It's a good race, man. But let's get into these awards, man. Driver of the race. It was a tough, man. So many people drove up. But driver of the race goes to Menane. He got in the lead. Controlled it. Dude was just chilling, man. Consistent laps always last so within like six, seven tenths of each other, man. Metronomic type shielding, man. Good stuff. And overtake of the race, you know what? I can't even say overtake. Overtakes of the race go to the first one goes to Mr. Boomtown as he was chasing a party and he went on the inside, realized there was no space, went on the outside, and I think he surprised himself by how late he braked and he they managed to get it done. Him and a party trusted each other. Mr. Boomtown in on a body and a body was like, hey man, it's okay. That's why he gave him the hazards to say I'm sorry. And Doug Barrow got this amazing pass, even though I was doubting the guy. Doug Barrow got this amazing pass out of the final corner, onto the straight hour. Like, dude, you are silly. You are silly. The one thing I can say is these Valvoline guys, even though they fought too hard, they at least were racing very fair. Even though if you guys work together, you could have been much further out. But he got the pass, that lovely pass. And 
Fastest lap of the race goes to Mr. Tierna. Tierna was flying. Me saying he's flying is an understatement. This guy came up out here after doing a 46-7. He did a 46-1. I was waiting for him but after that. Dude on some ridiculous pace. And livery off the race goes to, you know what? It goes to Team Valvoline. Even though we're rolling with the American and Scottish division, it's still Team Valvoline, man. One Valvoline for everybody. The Valvoline cars were looking good together over here. As you see the Scottish influence on the GT, and you see the American influence on the Mustang. And now we're just going to look at a few of the highlights of some incidents that happened. First, AMS Doggy. AMS Doggy, I do not know what happened at the start, but you see that? When, man, breaking at that chicane on the first lap especially, it's annoying man and look at him, he's his time to recover, he gets reset into 14, but dude went on to finish in fourth, nice recovery sir you do not give up out here you know I love the Viper too, so that kind of helped you get on this man, I'm just saying I'm just playing with you man, I'm just playing but we need to look into the incident what happened, what happened to our party man look, look Man, J J James almost took out two people with his mistakes. We're on board with the body right now. He hits into Mr. Punta and the tank slapper starts. There is nothing he can do. He was a passenger and was on board spectating with Tiana. Look how close Mr. Punta was to in the pit lane. James is out here trying. James likes my client. I'm guessing that's why. But we're on board with Mr. Punta. Look at that! Dude almost hit the pit. If he had even tried to correct that, he would have hit the pit, man. I'm just saying. Oh my goodness, but hey man, no fault of anyone. Anyway, you, know, you guys know the deal. Nerb crew representing. Peace out. Music. Okay, number one. Demandez pour Véa, l'huile Valvoline.